Who do I call if it ain't you? Tell me who to call if it ain't you. I've been pacing circles in my bedroom. I've been chasing secrets in your heirloom. Let me do what I do best. Slow down, let me talk to you. Don't tell me about your worries. I ain't staying till the afternoon. I like you in proximity, but now they're so far from the truth. I loved you from a distance, now I can't even stay close to you. But who do I call if it ain't you? Tell me who to call if it ain't you. I've been placing circles in my bedroom. I've been tracing secrets in your heirloom. Hello, welcome back to another video to a little business update. Today is the 1st of October and I am busy preparing for an upcoming photo shoot. I did talk a little bit about this in my previous video. Why I think I titled it why my small business failed. Again, now it's just a dramatic title. I don't think it's failed, but the first collection was it was not as successful as I wanted it to be. Also, yes, there's construction noises, my dog is making sounds, there are barking dogs in the neighborhood, and my apartment is a mess, but what more can you expect when I'm starting a small business out of my one bedroom apartment that I share with my husband? So, this is just what we've got to work with at the moment. Essentially, in like two weeks, I'm launching a new collection, the Satin Collection, and yesterday I went and bought new fabrics to make everything out of. So I just wanted to show you the fabric, some more of the supplies, and run you through my photo shoot, which is going to be happening in just over a week. So it'll be actually no exactly a week from today, which means I have a lot to do. I have five, I might even get one or two others, but I am using at least five of my followers on Instagram as models because I wanted to pick people with all different body shapes to not only test the clothes and prove or you know let me make adjustments if they're not that they do in fact meet the purpose of looking good on all body types but also just to show more diversity and to involve the people who have helped me get to where I am so yeah that's what's happening these are the fabrics I bought yesterday well some of them I got four colors I have some lilac, some light blue. I will show you some up close looks at the colors, but these two were like exceptionally discounted because I think they're just discontinued colors. There's nothing wrong with the fabrics, but they were selling them off as the whole roll rather than like per meter. So really happy with these. I saw the blue one there last time and the time we went previously, they had the blue and the purple, but I was a little nervous that they're both gonna be sold before I got there and then I would have to pay full price and that would really suck because I genuinely like both of these colors and if I could get it at like a dollar a meter plus tax instead of a lot more than that, then why not? And then additionally, I got some green and <laughs> some green and some hot pink. So this is a, it's called pistachio, pistachio green. And then this is technically fuchsia, but it definitely, this shade is more of a hot pink so these were in like the current um current range of satin so i had to pay per meter but these were i think it was like 170 pesos a meter but you have to buy a minimum of 10 meters so i have 10 meters of each of these i think it's 41 meters of the blue and then 30 meters of the purple so lots of fabric to work with so with the photo shoot next weekend i want to make samples for the five girls plus me in the different colors i'm also going to be selling black and white in i'll probably do black and white in all the designs but i didn't want to buy all the colors in one go because again that's an extra thousand pesos per color so that you know it all adds up and i don't have like buckets of money to be throwing into this right away. I don't even have an overlocker yet. I was planning to originally rent one for just a few days and then be able to just like overlock everything in one go and then, you know, give it back. But the site I was gonna rent it from, the person's not replying. So now I don't know if I'm gonna even have that option. Maybe for the samples, I'll just have to stick with using my regular machine, which works just fine. It just doesn't look as professional if I'm gonna be selling them. I really wanted to have the overlocker because for my photo shoot the way I arranged it is I said if you are willing to like come and be my model I don't have the money to pay you for your time but I will like let you have one of the outfits for free so that would be like a trade 
at least three of the designs are super easy or both of the tops and the and one of the skirts is like really easy and I've made plenty of times before but the two dresses I do need to just play around with a little bit more and the same with the um, second skirt I need to make one of those maybe today and just double check that my design actually holds up but I had to wait till I had the fabric before I could start making all the samples and now it's very close to the date of the photo shoot very busy lots to do but I'm very excited and it's definitely very achievable and all fun things like they're all fun projects it's just gonna be a lot of work <laughs> Update, it is now the next day and I did, well me and Alejandro together, managed to fix the sewing machine, thank goodness. So, I got my niece's little dress done, minus the fact that I still need to glue on the little rhinestone details. They're supposed to be iron-on ones, but the ones I got off of um, Amazon slash Tiana Mio just clearly sucked because I had like half a skirt finished and then I went to pick it up and they all started falling off so I'm gonna have to glue them down because I think it does look cuter with the rhinestones I just I'm not gonna waste my time trying to iron them down when it's just not gonna work because then if I give them to her like and it's not perfectly secure and the first time she wears it and twirls around they're all just gonna fling off and I was worried it was gonna be too long she is only three and this is like a size four ish but i wanted it to be big enough that it would stretch with her and like not be a teeny little mini skirt or anything so i think this is actually super cute and i almost want to make this for like adult sizes but later today i'm going to sit and glue on all the rhinestones and then i can finish my tiktok of this and get that up on well on tiktok in the meantime i'm starting off with some of my samples so I started sewing the um, with the blue satin. I cut a few items out the other day ready to sew. And then I went and just got some new needles. So I didn't have any specific satin needles. And I was like, maybe I can just do it with a regular needle. But it was already starting to like pull on the fabric and just not look cute. So I got myself the official much finer needles. Gonna swap that out now and get going with these. And now in my mind, but protagonist in all my drink is ceiling, all my doubts, and the healing in this dry. I've been singing to the ceiling, learning how to live without. But I hear you calling my name, the feelings we couldn't contain. Thoughts that we had were made, there really no one to blame. My ashes that came from pain, I trust you, but I was afraid. If I could, I'd call you, I'd tell you I need you, I wouldn't know what else to say. But who do I call if it ain't you? Tell me who to call if it ain't you. I've been facing circles in my bedroom. Good morning, it is the next day, so it is officially Tuesday morning, which means, what, three days left until the photo shoot? I got quite a bit done yesterday, I almost finished making one of the skirts, I just need to do like, literally five or ten minutes more sewing today, and I finished two tops yesterday as well, so that's a good start. I also then spent a bit of time last night re-gluing on all the little diamantes on this dress for daisy which i know is not a high priority because this is not for the photo shoot this is just to send off to australia and i was planning to send it off like at the start of this week but at this rate i'm not gonna send it till probably friday anyway so it's not the end of the world and i'll just do this in my spare time but i've been kind of saving this to do when it gets obnoxiously late to be sewing for example like if it's 8 30 p.m i don't really want to be making tons of noise on the sewing machine so then i've been coming back to doing this gluing which does take freaking forever but so far so good with the glue i hope they actually last when it gets washed it's supposed to be washable glue but we're gonna wait and see and i have classes this morning i have a few i have two english classes to teach today and then i have to take a spanish class today and then tomorrow i've got classes pretty much the whole day plus an appointment in the city so I'm not going to get too much done tomorrow, which really does suck. So I'm going to just try to get as much prep work done today as possible. So then hopefully tomorrow 
or Thursday morning when I buy the serger, I can just like power through those um, requests for the models. It's all gonna work out, still plenty of time. I think we'll still get done on schedule. I've been pacing circles in my bedroom. I've been tracing secrets in your heirloom. Wednesday morning it's like 7 30 or actually it's probably almost 8 by now I'm just working on some patterns I today's the day that I have a lot of classes and I also have a residency appointment so the appointment is at 10 o'clock in the city so I figured I'd work until about quarter past nine and then quickly get ready get out the door get to this stupid appointment and then come back maybe get in an hour of work before my first class starts and my plan for today basically is just to get all my patterns perfect so that tomorrow and hopefully cut things out then tonight so get the patterns done during the day and then after my class is finished at like 8 30 tonight then just cut out fabric because 8 30 is too late to be sewing and not like annoying people but currently because like i said i printed out these um patterns that i had like purchased but then i'm just going and adjusting them so that they actually fit my size guide because this was very off for example, um, this line here was the large and then the cutout is the extra large, but actually this purple line is gonna be my size medium. So I've adjusted them, or especially given them more room at their hips. Because I adjusted my size guide for this one, I did have a size chart for the first collection, but that was a bit different because that was more unisexed. Well, it was a unisex chart, so I um, took away quite a bit at the hips to make them, you know, more suitable for like unisex sizing but again you could buy them separately so it didn't really matter you could just size up in the bottoms if you did have bigger hips so for this collection because it's mostly dresses and based on the people who submitted their like request to be in the photo shoot i asked if they sent in their measurements if they knew them and kind of use that as a little study on like anthropometrics here so that was actually very helpful and i found out that i did need quite a bit more like room at the hips because that's where people tended to not fit the standard size guides so we've allowed for some bigger booties and i think this is all going to work out really nicely it is just taking a bit of time and of course i printed out this thing in like a zero paper but now i've only got them to a size medium so i'm gonna have to create it on the cardboard anyway and that's fine it's just a little bit more work but it'll be worth it in the end when everything is super easy to cut out <laughs>
today's the day. We ended up getting the upstairs room because whoever actually tried to book it out cancelled. So we got all this space to work in. I'm gonna set up, start on cutting because I think that's what happened, what went wrong with my other cow neck dresses is they were cut kind of funky and then they just didn't hang right. So I'm gonna start on a small, on an extra small in the blue for the cow neck just to make sure that it's all like working because if the pattern still isn't working then I have a problem and I can't do this thing tomorrow. So I'm gonna start with that, get to sewing, test out my new overlocker which I also haven't talked about. It's a singer. We got it second hand off the Facebook marketplace. The woman who owned it just had it but practically never used it. So I had a Janome back in Australia, still do but it's in storage. So I think it looks all pretty much exactly the same. I'm just gonna look up a threading tutorial and make sure I'm doing it all correctly, although there is the diagram on the inside. So, and step one, well, step one is to cut on my fabric. Step two is to test out the serger, and then step three, make the blue dress. Okay, this is the current stay up here. I ran out of thread. Well, actually the machine just needed re-threading, but then I realized that these are both super low. So I'm just gonna go out and buy three more of those big chunky white ones and maybe some more in the in other colors as well. I'm gonna just focus on getting everything cut out. I need to cut one more of the cow neck short dresses in pink. And then I also have to cut out a longer dress in, it's like a little slip dress in the lilac color. And I think that will be just about everything. Also, another update is one of my models just pulled out, unfortunately. She was really apologetic about it, but she has been in direct contact this week with someone who just tested positive for COVID. And, you know, obviously we all just have to be safe and be cautious. She just said she's having two vaccines, but, you know, just to be safe. Also, someone's in the gym next door, if you can hear that. So I have a little bit of cutting left to do for those two dresses. And I did just message one of the, because quite a lot of people applied and I tried to select people who, one, sounded the most enthusiastic and the most um, interested in my little like adventures. And then two, that were a range of different sizes. So one of the models is an extra small, one is small, one's a medium, one's kind of like a medium large, and then one of them is an extra large. And then the model that pulled out, of course, she was the largest one. She was going to be wearing, I think, a 3 or 4 XL. So it is a shame that the person who was going to be showcasing with the most diversity, and I don't like to say like that because it's not just about the numbers or anything, but I am disappointed if I can't replace and find someone else to model one of the larger sizes because I wanted women who are a bit bigger to be able to see what the clothing was going to look like on them. But there'll be plenty more opportunities. I'm sure I will figure it out. Most of the purple dress cut out. I did cut off some of the excess so I should be able to make the bust pieces and the straps from this and also I'm going to use the rest of the scrap fabrics to make um, face masks and maybe some scrunchies. Made some good progress but it is four o'clock now so I'm going to pack up, try to get out of here as quick as possible, get all my stuff back downstairs and then zip off to the city because like I said I need to go grab that thread and we do have a Merceria like just down the street but I think it'll just be easier if I go into the city and get like the proper overlocker thread and I also wanted to get some stuff to do my acrylic nails but now I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do that anyway so yeah we'll just see. Okay it is 6 30. I got home from the shops about half an hour 45 minutes ago and then just had something to eat because I only had like two pieces of pizza for lunch which is not a lot. So, 
I got all the goodies. I got all my thread. I spent like a thousand pesos just on thread. And she sold me thread that has like elastic in it, stretch thread. Supposedly, th supposedly this is what you need for the overlock, a specific overlock thread. But I don't know. I've never used stretch thread with my overlocker in Australia and it always worked fine. So I hope I didn't just spend all this money on thread that I didn't need. And she was also super surprised when I wanted four of each color, but it's just way easier when you have an overlocker to have four spools. So anyway, got four of those. Well, four in the white, four in black, even though I don't even have the black satin, but I do have some black lycra that I want to sew with. And I also got some in the green. I also got a whole bunch of elastic for waistbands and things. This is honestly, maybe I should have got um, the three centimeter one. This is three and a half. It might be slightly thicker than I wanted, but it'll do 10 meters of that. And then finally, I did get some fun stuff because I also needed to get some more acrylic liquid for my um, nails. I haven't done my acrylics in a long time and I was planning on doing them tonight, but I don't know if I'm going to get a chance now. But then I would have had the nails for the photo shoot tomorrow, but I want to at least do them for my birthday, which is on Sunday. So I got these cute little flower decals to add and also some new fake eyelashes. I have so much sewing to do and I work well under pressure, but I'm very under pressure right now. So I'm going to set up, see how much I can get done in the next hour because then I actually have a spray tan tonight, which is great. I do, like, I need the appointment, but it's like one extra thing to go and do today. And Alejandro's been super sick all day, so he's just been in bed asleep. So I'm gonna have to wake him up about half an hour before the appointment so he can drive me there. Cause I had to get an Uber into this, anyway. Insert time lapse of me sewing like 12 dresses tonight. It's not 12, it's like four, but you get the idea. Hold it, hold it. Tell me what the hold it is. I'm a little sport. I'll be the first to admit it. I'm not used to laying low about my feelings. Tell the world or write a book when I'm finished. I should thank your mama. Yeah. Look at what she made. Okay, it's actually like 6 30 in the morning the following day so it is photo shoot day i did get any time lapses last night because my gopro batteries were in the car from when we went to the beach yesterday morning but i have a lot to do i've been up since five just trying to plan get everything ready i think i was a bit too stressed to sleep longer than that anyway because i only have one of the dresses sewn together this blue one and i still need to iron the straps finish off the end of the straps and also hem it but i'm gonna leave that until the end i'll do all that at the same time because it'll be probably it might involve some hand sewing and then also attach the label but what i'm gonna do right now is actually cut out the final <laughs>
I call if it ain't you Tell me who to call if it ain't you I've been pacing circles in my bedroom I've been chasing secrets in your heirloom Let me do what I do best, slow down, let me talk to you Don't tell me about your worries, I ain't staying till the afternoon I like you in proximity, but now they're so far from the truth I loved you from a distance, now I can't even stay close to you But who do I call if it ain't you? in your heirlooms Who do I call if it ain't you? Tell me who to call if it ain't you I've been facing circles in my bedroom I've been tracing secrets in your heirlooms Calculating all the aftermath Now when nemesis, a menace in my mind But protagonists in all my drink A ceiling on my doubts I need healing in this drought I've been singing to the ceiling Learning how to live without uh, Why you calling my name? It's a nice day. The photo shoot has happened. I'm going to insert some videos and photos from yesterday afternoon because I look about as tired as I feel right now. But quickly, I wanted to say a little bit um, about yesterday. So the last clip you saw was within me, like desperately trying to get done in time. But what I didn't talk about yesterday is that I had almost a panic attack at about midday. When I realized that there was just no way I was gonna get everyone's dresses done by 3 p.m. I wasted all that time the day before going out to get thread in the city and it turns out the thread I bought was not even what I needed so now I have to return it and I wasted all this money and it was just kind of a nightmare and then I struggled threading my overlocker and wasted a bunch of time with that so really i should have purchased the overlocker like three days before and had plenty of time to sew everything but we just didn't have the money until thursday and then all day wednesday oh i think we had the money wednesday but all day wednesday i had work with um like my english classes so it just it is what it is and it all worked out in the end but it was a long <laughs> day and i did get everything done in time but i was just worried that the dresses were not going to fit right and then if they were too small i was going to feel so bad that people had come all the way down there and then i wouldn't have had anything for them to wear so i was desperately trying to make like a backup outfit one of my long skirts in purple Pippin, can you chill for a minute please Pippin. um which in the end we didn't need because everything did fit fine and then again i spent all that time making the purple dress that was that i'd never made one using that pattern before so it took me so much longer and then i tried to add like a trim around the edge to make it look nicer and then that was a disaster and i had to get alejandro to help me unpick the whole thing because it just didn't work and then that wasted another half an hour and it was just things just kept happening and happening and happening and then the girl who was supposed to wear that dress at the last minute said she wasn't coming which I understand. She said that she got her third dose of the COVID vaccine yesterday and just wasn't feeling good today. So I don't blame her or anything, but it's like, if I knew she wasn't coming, I wouldn't have spent all that time on that dress. And I also would have spent more time making something else, like making more tops that the rest of us could have worn. Because in the end, we only had one outfit for each girl and I had multiple things that would have fit me, but I didn't want to be like the only one changing. And then everyone else was wearing the same dress, a little cow neck dress, and then I was wearing something different. So it did, in a few shots, it probably does look like I was trying to stand out and make the whole day about me because it's my collection, which was not the intention. I wanted us to all be wearing something different, but they just, uh, four of the girls just selected the same dress. So yeah, in the end, I should have just swapped into my white cow neck dress and it, it was still longer than the others, but it would have looked more the same than, um, than having like the two piece set but it's all fine it all went good the photos turned out really nice i just yeah i wish that those two girls hadn't pulled out and also that i if i'd had one extra day it would have been better and i almost cancelled the photo shoot yesterday or postponed it till saturday but one of the girls couldn't make it saturday so then i would have had like less people and even less diversity in sizes so yeah it it worked out good in the end but i have learned a lot of lessons for next time in being prepared a few days early i think this has come back to like adhd unfortunately and i procrastinated and 
I could have cut out all the patterns a few days ago, like all the, I mean, all the dresses, like the pieces, I could have cut them out a few days ago because I had everyone's sizes, but I didn't know what colors people wanted. And then, I, yeah, it just, it was just one of those weeks where just things kept going wrong. And yeah, next time will be smoother because I will have more time to prep. I will be able to make those masks and the scrunchies and things. And yeah, um, That'll be the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed coming along with my little photo shoot. If you have any questions, comment down below. And I may, I, I'm really glad we did it and I met some really wonderful people and maybe I'll even hang out with them again soon, <laughs> individually or together, who knows. But it was nice to meet some people locally because again, if you've been watching these videos, you might know that I have like no friends here. So now maybe I'll have a few. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And I'll link all the website down below if you like the dresses and you want to go check them out. I will see you in my next video. And now I'm going to spend the rest of the day picking up pins off the floor and packing up my entire living room, which has just been overtaken with my sewing for I've been pacing circles in my bedroom. I've been tracing secrets in your heirloom.